All right, so I'm going to quickly show you how I've been personalizing or stylizing my Canvas site. So here you can see that I've added our class logo and then some buttons that students can click on to get started with the class. Now, the way I did that was first I created these buttons in a uh, PowerPoint presentation. So basically what I did was, let's create a new slide. I added in the text that I wanted, and then I just uh, clicked on a easy option here. Let me get this one. So I highlight all of that and click convert to smart art, and then choose the style of buttons that I want. At the very bottom, I can choose, I can look at all the options, but I, I like this one. So I went ahead and clicked that, and then I just resized it to get to the size that I wanted. It doesn't matter what order they're in because you're going to export them separately. And then I stylize them up a little bit, make them look fancy, change the colors, and now I have buttons. I also can edit the text to make that look a little bit better. So I did a bold and then that little shadow and it really makes that pop. Alright, so now once I have created these buttons, what I did was I used a screen capture and I just captured just the buttons individually. So I did one, two, and I use Jing for this, or Snagit. If you're on a Mac, you can do Control-Alt-4. Okay, so once I got all of those exported out, I then went into my page. So let's go ahead and create a new page so we can practice with this. Test Erase. All right, so I'm gonna create a new page. And once I get into the page, I'm going to upload those images. So here you can see I have a blank page. But before I upload them, I need to create a table so that I can organize them. So I'm going to create a table, and I have four. I think I have four. So let's go four. And let's go one. And then I want to center it. Although I haven't been able to get it to center. The center keeps disappearing. But anyway, so I have this little table. So I'm in the first box. I'm going to go into images and I'm going to upload a new image. So I choose file, and then all of my images that I've saved are here. Okay, so I've already done that part, so they're down here actually. Okay, so there are the buttons. So the very first one was get started, and I click that, and it automatically will appear in that box. So I click here, get the second one, and then click here, get the third one, and then the last one. Okay, so that's it. Now I'm going to go back to links because I want to make these linkable. So if I just click on this, and then these are my wiki pages. So I want this to go to the Get Started orientation page. So I just go ahead and click on this. Boom, creates a link. Module 1. Let's scroll down to my module pages. So Module 1, Module 2, click. Module 3, click. Boom, and I'm done. So now I can go back click Save Changes, and now, drum roll please, there they are. So see how they're kind of off to the left? Every time I try to center them, they automatically go back to the left. So I don't know how to help you with that. But anyway, now that I click on it, these links go to the pages that I wanted them to go to, which is kind of nice. So that is how I've stylized my Canvas site. Hope that was helpful.